Well, there's been mistakes made in this match. It's not been to be the player's best so far in standard. But there's an awful lot to play for here. left that red and uh, when you are struggling a little bit to find your form you never seem to get away with it if you miss one you always finish up putting it over another pocket he's way down at 81 percent john higgins who would have thought that but uh, it's just all about confidence and he can't really get in with a sizable break John's highest One. break, 47. Stephen had that 90 break in the opening frame. Stephen has survived a couple of close matches. Yeah, uh, as we mentioned earlier, managed to beat Luca Brussel, Six. the Belgian. 6 5 from 5 2 down, but he also only just managed in the end to beat Nian Wenbo by the same score, 6 5. So he's been a, not the easiest passage through. I know that he's not been absolutely delighted with his game. Quite low on this black to make it potable. Seven. Fourteen. Fifteen. Twenty-two. Not a good pack to go into from the black. Twenty-three. If he does go in this time, he'll have to get plenty of uh, screw on this so that he doesn't stick in the reds. There's no problem with Q power with Stephen Maguire. And he's just played for the one to the right at the back, so. 30. Still them um, two loose reds, but he's got to get into that little triangle of reds. Thirty-one. And the black's the only ball he can go into the reds off, unless he got absolutely perfect on the pink. That's a couple of shots from now. Can't go into them from the blue because the pink's away from the bunch, as you can see. 38. Well, he found an angle there that he didn't think he had. 38. Took him quite a long way away from the next red. It's amazing the angle you can make with these uh, very fast cloths and I mean it, there wasn't a lot of angle there and look where he's finished up getting the cue ball. It's going to be very tough though as you say to 
get this pack open, the pink protecting the reds if he plays from the blue. And I think that's the main reason. 39. He's played on the black, but the bounce off the cushion was uh, possibly misjudged by Stephen. Either way, it looks much too straight. He's got no angle. He could screw into them, perhaps, but he doesn't get enough pace on it. In fact, he might be going around two cushions. This would be a very good shot. Oh, I'll tell you what. Talk about that exact point, Dennis. It was almost straight, and he managed to swing it around to make an angle on that shot. Yeah, loads of topspin. The white stopped and then shot forward with all that topspin on it. That's where you strike the cue ball right. 47. Near the top. It was a clock face around about 12 o'clock to create that spin. You hit it around about 6 o'clock uh, to screw back. Uh, if you can imagine the... 54. White as a clock face. 55. Well, those reds are lined up perfectly to the right corner. 62. Sixty-three. He just seems to be grabbing hold of this uh, match now, Stephen Maguire. Seven. Exactly that, Dennis. It's been a couple of mistakes made, but Stephen has stepped up a little bit. He's led one nil, two one, three two. John has pegged him back, but he just moved up a gear. And it's on the brink, getting a couple of frames in front now. It's been a really good break, this. There's the difference. 77. Um, came up a little bit short with the screw shot, but the frame's safe. But this is a bit more like Stephen Maguire. He's one of those players if he gets in front of you, he can start and bully you, can't he? he just, he's like a steamroller, just keeps on going when he gets in this mood. Yeah, he's quite an aggressive player. You know, we know that he gets himself quite worked up out there, but just his, 85. the way he plays the game is aggressive. 86. Well, you can see that he's taken high-value colours and... Saw Neil Robertson make a break of 1-4-1 one, one earlier. And he can beat it here. 93. Could get as many as 144. 94. Should be set the standard for the high break. Difficult to get uh, on the black from that red up the table, I'm thinking, but... <laughs> it's been a lovely break. McGuire has moved up a, a gear. Certainly in this frame. One. one hundred and two. That's his thirteenth century of this season for Stephen. And that's the sixty eighth century here. Sixty-eight centuries in this year's UK, but that means that he won't be able to beat Neil Robertson's high break now. Well, I think he'll have a go, but uh, he'd be very disappointed to have finished where he has. What a <laughs> shot! What a <laughs> shot! <laughs> oh, with the cue ball. Oh. So, one hundred and ten. And he can get one for two with the blue. He's got to play the blue here. It's up and down, it's a natural. 
That was some shot with the rest, wasn't it? He was almost on top of the red. 115. Yeah. Yeah, I think he was disappointed to get there, but great recovery. 117. It's been a lovely break. One hundred and twenty. One thousand pounds for the highest break in this year's UK championship, and if someone should make a maximum, an extra fifty-five thousand on top. Yeah, that's why a lot of players have been having a go in, in some of the earlier matches. Now, that's not a great shot. He might be all right, but he would usually be a little closer than that. At least he's fairly straight on this. Uh, very fluent. Just one or two difficulties along the way. The breaking open of the pack of two cushions was a great shot. That's a brilliant break. It's a break of 142, the highest of the year.